The powerful short-range ballistic missile, 9K720 Iskander missile, is also recognized as the SS-26 Stone in NATO. Global security claims that export versions of the missile have a range of 280 kilometers and a payload of 480 kilometers, while domestic versions have a range of around 500 kilometers. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are talking about the Russian 9K720 Iskander missile. So let's get going. According to the Missile Threat Project, the domestic Iskander versions have a payload of roughly 700 kilograms and a short range of about 400 kilometers. In either scenario, the nuclear-capable Iskander-M accords with the INF Treaty's restrictions on intermediate-range nuclear forces. However, the missile effectively substitutes the OTR-23 OKA nuclear-tipped ballistic missile, which was phased out under the INF Treaty. The two versions of the Iskander have a single warhead complemented with terminal guidance systems. However, the missile's accuracy is hugely related to the variant. According to the missile threat, a purely inertially guided variant of the missile would own a 200-meter circular probability of error and accuracy, but this could be reduced to 50 meters or less when coupled with GPS or GLONASS, the Global Navigation Satellite System. If those systems added by electro-optical sensors or radar, the accuracy of the scanner could be improved. Now, let's discuss the history of Iskander. In the late 1980s, Russia began developing the SS-26 to replace the OTR-23 OKA short-range ballistic missile SRBM. After the OTR-23 was banned by the INF in 1987, the Soviet Machine Industry Design Bureau and Kolomna, the KBM repurposed the missile's solid rocket motor for the missile's design. In 1993, KBM began construction on the Iskander complex. Russia began state trials of the missile in 1998 and completed 13 flights at the Kapustin Yar test range until 2005, and in 2006, the Iskander system was finally deployed in Russia. Russia tested and updated the missile 9M723-1 in 2010 and accepted it into service in 2012. The Rode Mobile Iskander was Russia's second attempt to replace the Scud missile following the fallout of the OTR-23 due to the INF Treaty. Initially directed by the KBM rocket weaponry designer Sergei Nepobedemy, the design of Iskander was started in December 1988, and in this period, it was not notably affected by the dissolution of the USSR in 1991. Consecutively, after the beginning of the work, the first successful launch of the missile happened in 1996, at a meeting with senior defense officials reporting to President Vladimir Putin on the drafting of a defense budget for 2005. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Borisovich Ivanov mentioned the completion of a static test of a new tactical missile system called the Iskander. He stated that the system would be mass-produced in 2005 and that by the end of the year, Russia would have a brigade armed with it. A source in Russia's defense industry conveyed to Interfax ABN in March 2005 that the development of new missiles with a range of 500 to 600 kilometers which derived from the existing Iskander-E tactical missile systems, was not impossible. The minister did, however, state that it could take up to five or six years. Serial production of the Iskander-M variant tactical ballistic missile system began in 2006, and the system was adopted by the Russian army. In November 2016, the Russian military announced that the Iskander-M system was being modernized. Several countries were said to be interested in buying the export version of Iskander, but this possibility was only announced in early February 2017. Well, how loaded is this missile anyway? Let's take a glimpse at its capabilities. The Iskander can be outfitted with a variety of warheads, high explosives HE variants, fuel air explosive variants, submunition dispenser variants, and HE penetrator variants are among them. The Russian domestic variant can also carry a nuclear payload. The Iskander is a versatile weapon. It was built to avoid missile defenses. The weapon can maneuver during its terminal phase according to the missile threat. It also has decoys for spoofing interceptor missiles. As a result, current missile defense technologies make intercepting the Iskander extremely difficult. The Iskander is a tactical ballistic missile, not a strategic weapon. In multiple missions, it would be utilized to ruin both immobile and moving targets. 
Targets vary from surface-to-air missile batteries, enemy short-range missiles, ports, airfields, command and centers of communication, as well as factories and other hardened targets. Moscow has stationed Iskander M launchers in Kaliningrad due to the missile's ability to circumvent missile defenses. The weapon allows Russia to use its Baltic exclave to threaten U.S. missile defense installations in Poland, as well as to intimidate its neighbors more broadly. If reports of the missile's presence in Syria are correct, this is most likely why Russia deployed the weapon there. What about the strategic implication of the Iskander for Russia? Now, when it comes to inciting threats across Europe, the Iskander has that huge potential to become the weapon of choice for Moscow. In 2012, then-acting defense minister Anatoly Serdyukov warned that the Iskander may be used to target European missile defense systems, including a threat to deploy some of the missiles to Kaliningrad, a Russian exclave on the Baltic, NATO member Poland's border with Lithuania. Despite the fact that Russia briefly deployed Iskander missiles to Kaliningrad in 2015 to display its rapid deployment capabilities during military exercises, in response to NATO and the U.S. European Phased Adaptive Approach EPA-A, Russia has threatened to deploy the Iskander M to Kaliningrad. The next Aegis ashore installation will be located in Retsukova, Poland, within range of Russia's short-range missiles. There has also been talk that the Iskander could be deployed in Crimea, which was just annexed. The Russian Defense Ministry has obtained their fifth Iskander and brigade, and sources ranging from social media to the Ukrainian general staff claim to have discovered the standard deployments in the country. Because the Iskander can be equipped with tactical nuclear warheads, it provides Russia with a perfect platform for delivering smaller nuclear attacks deep into Europe, and it might imply that the disputed Crimean Peninsula is under Russian nuclear control. Russia reportedly deployed at least one Iskander missile system to its Maimum Air Base in Syria in March 2016. In the meantime, Russia continues to work on Iskander upgrades, including the creation of new missiles for the system. This system, the Iskander M, known to have a lot of chances for modernization, which is already taking place in terms of weaponry and missiles. In November 2015, Alexander, deputy commander of Russia's missile forces, said that the standard array of missiles is growing, and new missiles are being produced, intercepting a new version of the Iskander would surely be significantly more difficult. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below. Till then, be safe and stay well.